Welcome. Uh, yes, another video. Here we go. Some nostalgic things to look at because I saw these the other day on Facebook and I was like, whoa, hey, some of them hit a little too close to home for me, okay? And I, I completely related to them. So I was like, you know what? That'd be a pretty interesting uh, video idea. So yeah, here we go. Um, this like thread, I feel, I think it was called, I don't know what you call them on Facebook. I'm just going to call it a thread. Uh, things that ruined your day back in the day. Oof. Pair of Ugg boots. Iconic. Um, yeah. See, I don't know what this is like, but I can imagine that that's terrible because, I mean, just look at it. It looks sad. It's just about as bad as when you see those, you know, certain pair of Ugg boots and they're all crunched up and stepped on all the time. Like, that's pretty sad looking too, okay? <laughs> so I can imagine that this is on a, a very similar level to that. Ugg boots, though. Ugh. Those were like, like just such a, a staple item for for girls. Like you just, it's like they just they had to have them. You know, I gotta have a pair of Ugg boots. And I feel like those were the ones right there, like the kind of high ones, like the lighter brown color. Because there was, there was like the really dark brown ones, and then there was the medium color here, and then there was like the lighter ones. And it's like these ones right here, like those were like the ones to get. Like everyone had them, literally. Everybody had them. You look at them now and it's like, ugh. Personally, I'm not much of a fan of them. Um, I think they're not great to look at. Let's just, I'll just put it at that, okay? Damn, the Livestrong bracelet. Whew, man, I haven't seen a Livestrong bracelet in a minute though. I wonder if they still make them. Under Armour, the Livestrong bracelet, Ugg boots, like all that shit. Like people just like, it's like you just, you had it. You know, you saw other people with it and you just had to have it. Everyone had a, a Livestrong bracelet, Under Armour shirts, and f***ing Ugg boots. The guys in my grade, like, we all had uh, Lug boots, they're called. These things right here, we all had those. And that was, like, the the male version of the Ugg boots, you know what I mean? It was like, uh, like every guy had them, you know? It's like, fucking. it's like, if you wanted to be cool, you had to have these boots for some reason. And just like the stupid Ugg boots, there was like the certain one that you had to get. You had to get this one because that's the right one to get. Yeah, any other one and it looks weird. I don't know. It's weird how that works. It's like, you try to fit in so bad and everyone's wearing the same shit. Like, you know, you, you're dressing up and you gotta wear the Arrow Pistol shirt. I'm gonna put on the good shirt today. I'm gonna wear my American Eagle shirt, iPod. See. I never had an iPod, or no, I I think I did, I, no, I don't know, I feel like I had one, I never, I never directly had one, somehow I was able to get my hands on the, um, I think I had a shuffle for a period of time, and then I have no idea where it went, um, my sister though, I was super jealous, because at the time, she got a Zoom, that's what they were called, this thing right here, and they were just like, they just looked so cool. Like they, they looked incredible. And I was like, oh my God, like I gotta get a Zune. Like iPods, pff, screw that. I want a Zune. Yeah, uh, if you remember Zunes, we're old, okay? We're, we're getting there. I really don't know why those things didn't become like a thing. I mean, I get that you're going up against Apple and like that's not an easy thing to do. But also like, I feel like their design just looked so nice. I don't know, maybe it was just the software was garbage. I don't know. They look nice though. I thought the matte color on them was cool. Who knows? Kids today will never know the drama in picking MySpace top eight. MySpace? Ugh. Yeah, being in someone's top friends list, because back on MySpace, back in the day, you were able to pick like, and it would showcase them on your profile. But yeah, it was like, you could pick a certain amount of people that could be in your top friends. And it's like, if you were in someone's top friends, it's like, that's a big deal. And then of course your first friend, Everyone's first social media friend on MySpace, Tom. Tom from MySpace, okay? Legendary. We don't get that now. People, that you're not automatically friends with, you know, Jack Dorsey following you. You don't have that. Or like Mark Zuckerberg, yeah, we don't have him as a friend. Okay, what the hell, Mark? CD, no disc. CD players, uh, CDs in general, they just, ugh. They were good if they were good. If they were terrible, then they're the worst things ever because they would skip if they had a little scratch on them. And trying to burn a CD too, like trying to put songs on it, was a disaster because you had to either go through, um, I think that we had Bear Share it was called, but there was like LimeWire, which was the worst thing ever. If you know LimeWire, like, ugh. 
Um, so there's LimeWire, which I think that might have only been for iPods, uh, but I, you might have been able to put songs from LimeWire on CDs as well. If you had a good CD, you could put like maybe 25 songs on it, depending on, you know, uh, how long the songs were. So it's like typically like if you were able to get like 20 songs on a CD, like you're chilling. There's also this one time where I, I had a CD player and like the problem with them is you had to keep them very still because if you didn't, then they would skip. And I tried going for a run the one time and I had my, I was like, oh, I want to listen to music while I'm on a run. Now I was like, I don't know, 12, maybe 10 years old or something. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I want to go for a run, but I want to listen to music too. I'll bring my CD player. That's a good idea. So I'm trying to run and it's like within the first 10 steps, the CD is just skipping and I'm like immediately miserable. It just ruined my day. <laughs> Because I was like, I can't even listen to music while I go for a run right now. Yeah, I remember that being uh, an incredibly frustrating moment in my life is when I tried to go for a run with my CD player and it kept skipping because you're running and that's not how you use that thing. This thing too, look at that. Oh my God. Is that old Windows? Which Windows is that? Look at LimeWire. That's what that is. See, that's LimeWire right there. LimeWire was... One of the ways you could get music, like I said before, we used Bear Share, it was called, which is like a less atrocious way to get music. But man, LimeWire was like, I mean, look at that. That just looks like a disaster as it is. You can't tell what's going on there. Looks horrible. And it would give your computer every single virus ever. And now it's like Spotify and it's easier, so much easier. That's something that we take for granted now is how easy it is to get music now, okay? Because back then we had to deal with LimeWire when you're trying to record a song for your ringtone, but someone starts talking too loud. See, I've done this before, okay? Because again, back back then, it's like you had to literally buy these ringtones. So you're like, okay, here's what I'll do. I'll just, I'll record it through my phone and I'll just like set it as my ringtone. That'll be it. And of course the recording sounded terrible. It was like, all oh, the audio was just so shitty. But I mean, you know, you didn't really care because at the time you're like, no, that's fine, that's good. Remember in 2006 when you accidentally hit the internet button on your flip phone and you had to press end 40 times to keep your parents from paying such a luxury? Yes, um, that was a scary ass moment, okay? When you accidentally click the internet button and like that weirdo screen would come up where like, and you knew, you knew exactly what was going on. You gotta just immediately cancel it because now like you're on the internet and like that's costing money, okay? It's just so funny to think about like, like that was the thing. Like I remember literally getting nervous, like whenever I would accidentally click the internet button on, and it was the flip phone too. Whenever I would accidentally click the stupid internet button and I was like, oh shit, like you just panic and you just try to close it out and it would always take like a couple seconds because those phones were slow as hell. But uh, yeah, it was just, it was so funny. Like the immediate regret and panic that would set in, like as soon as you click the internet button. I just had a horrible flashback to the pre-Spotify days when I used to download all my music with YouTube to MP3 converters and manually organize them into iTunes albums with uh, album art I found on Google Images. Yeah, um, again, like that was like getting music now is incredibly easy. Like you had to do so much shit just to get your hands on a couple of songs because like you had to somehow find them on this janky ass website and you had to like download them onto your computer uh, using some weird storage but I don't even know like how, I don't even know where we put them. You just have like a downloads folder that you just shove a bunch of music into uh, and then you, you somehow have to open up this other program and plug in your stupid MP3 player to the USB port and start like dragging and dropping them in there. It's just this whole weird process that you had to go through. And now it's like you just open Spotify and you just hit play. That's it. You just click on the song. A scooter to the ankle. Yeah. Oof. If you've never taken a Razor scooter to the ankle, like, I don't know if you know what pain is, okay? <laughs> And I know that sounds drastic, but I, like, please, if you've never taken a scooter to the ankle, you just, you're not, like, we can't, we can't talk, you know? Like, there's nothing for us to talk about here. You don't know what it's like to be suffering if you, <laughs> maybe that's a bit dramatic, but still, taking a scooter to the ankle sucked. That was horrible. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting to look at some of these things because it brings back past trauma of ha having to look for music. 
on the internet. Um, three minutes past nine, CD skipping, all that good stuff that is so annoying and I'm glad that I no longer have to deal with that because that was a dark time. Uh, yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna end it there. Uh, make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you were not, it helps out. And I will see you in the next one.